Ever found yourself staring at a parenting product wondering, what on earth were they thinking? We asked moms to tell us about the most bizarre parenting products available, from a ride-on potty trainer to a placenta teddy bear. Get ready for your jaw to drop. There's also the potty chair on wheels that is fashioned like a ride-on toy. A toddler rolling a portable toilet around seems like a recipe for disaster if you ask me, Susan M. of Divine Secrets of a Domestic Diva. Baby Bangs, created for baby girls who have little or no hair, to enhance their natural beauty. Really, people, Lulu's almost two and only has about 17 hairs on her head but I'm still not gonna make the poor kid wear a wig. Plus, what would that do to her self-esteem? It's just nuts. Now if she's three and still bald, well, dot. Then it's wig time. Janet D. Of Tulip and Thelma. The baby Snuggie is up there, for sure. I'm pretty sure that's what you wear to the park if you want the other moms and kids to stay far, far away from you which could come in handy if you want to snag a swing on a busy day. Candy K. Of the Laughing Stork. There's the poop plush toy. Um, that's exactly what I want to teach my kid, to play with SHT. It's bad enough that Lou wants to crap on the floor instead of the potty, but the last thing I need is for her to pick it up and play with it. Janet D. Of Tulip and Thelma most bizarre parenting product slash children's toy three words placenta teddy bear yes that's right folks a woman's placenta dot cured with sea salt sand into a pliable medium cut into pieces following a pattern and hand stitched together into the world's most horrifying teddy bear the designer actually sells kits so you can do the same thing with your afterbirth in the privacy of your own home leslie m of the bearded iris. Definitely the breastfeeding doll. I wrote an entire post about it called Role Playing Toys. Don't get me wrong, I am all about some breastfeeding for all of those who can do it. I did it with all four of my kids. But this doll, with its little bra like thingy that gives your daughter, or son, I guess, fake nipples is a little extreme. Ginger C. of Counting Caballeros. I've always thought baby perfume was pretty odd, Ember D. of parenting with crappy pictures. The hand-stitched birthing doll which, in my opinion, would create more questions than answers, is generally terrifying and retails for over $200, Susan M. of Divine Secrets of a Domestic Diva. Any doll that poops and pees is on the top of this list. There's a lot of things I need more of. Faux excrement isn't one of them. Nicole L. Of Ninja Mom Blog. The Toddler Helmet. For crawling infants and toddlers to prevent injury while crawling around the house. I think this is a solution for which there did not exist any problem. Stacy and Kimberly of Too Too Smart. Smart Ass Mommies. I'd have to say the timeout pad. It turns timeout into a fun game. Really? I think we've missed the point here people. Andrea C. Of the Underachievers Guide to Being a Domestic Goddess PPTP, in a fitting wiener dog design, no less. Wow. Gwen H. Of the Hartley Hooligans. Creepy. Dot. Looks like dismembered hands. Gwen H. Of the Hartley Hooligans.